Hey there everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how to host a website and the two best ways to do so, that being through a first or third party provider, and I'll be using Hostinger and Bluehost to show you exactly that. Now to actually use these platforms, you need to have an account, and depending on your experience with web hosting or familiarity, it will affect which one suits you best. Hostinger offers three tiers of plans ranging from shared to VPS and cloud hosting. Shared is ideal for beginners as it isn't expensive, but you wouldn't realize that because it doesn't slouch on features with its 100 sites, 100 gigabytes of SSD, and all the necessary security coverage such as weekly backups, an SSL certificate, and a firewall. It also conveniently provides a domain as well, something that is included with all plans except for VPS hosting, which we'll get into shortly. Now, if you upgrade to the business plan for a dollar, you will get daily backups and NVMe storage, which is 10 times faster than SSD storage, which is typically used as a baseline for lower plans. But not with Hostinger. VPS hosting, on the other hand, is for those of you who have middle-sized websites looking for more dedicated resources, because unlike the shared server of web hosting, dedicated hosting gives you your own section of a shared server, so it's more customizable. If you want a cheaper option, but also some level of independence, then VPS is the way to go. Plans start from $6 and level out at $18, giving you 1TB of bandwidth, which is more than enough for most middle-sized sites, NVMe disk space, and a vCPU core, a sort of CPU that is stored on a server as opposed to the physical ones on your computer. The last plan that Hostinger offers is Cloud Hosting, which is the shared hosting plan with a lot more features and increased capacity for the already mentioned ones. Here you receive 300 websites, 200 plus gigabytes of NVMe storage, and 3 to 12 gigs of RAM. The interesting thing about cloud hosting though is that it doesn't have a physical server, as the name implies, it's in the cloud so it's connected to multiple points. So if one server falters or is down, it simply transfers the workload to another server. This plan is ideal for people who have much larger sites and need the features, but also something that can handle a lot of traffic. Whichever plan you do decide to go with, I've added the best discount available for hosting or in the description below, giving you a site-wide discount with three months of free use. So if you're interested, check that out. And to actually host with Hostinger, you just need to log into your account, and from your dashboard, head to the Websites tab and click on Add or Migrate a Website. Pick the type of website you're going for, in this case it's an online store, then select Create a New Website, and you have the option of using Hostinger's own website builder or WordPress, and this is the first method of hosting your site. So we're not using WordPress because Bluehost is better optimized for that, and we'll touch upon that in the next section. So. Select the AI Builder, and on the next page, if your plan included a free domain, then you can use it by going down to the Choose a Domain Later option. But you will need to purchase a domain when the free one expires after a year. I do have a video on that as well, so you can watch that to see how to buy a domain. The link to that is in the description below. But I digress. So, once you've clicked on the free domain, it will take you to this page where you can click on Start Creating to Use the AI or use the templates by clicking on the other available option just below. We're going with the AI, so click on Start Creating. On the next page, you can pick a name for your brand, and then in the bottom text, you can describe what your site is about. So, once you're finished with that, click on Create Website, and within a couple of seconds, it will generate a website based on the information you gave the AI. If you want a tutorial on how to make your own site with this method, I have a video ready for you in the description below, and I will show you everything you need to know A to Z. Then, moving on to Bluehost plans, we also have web hosting and VPS hosting, and a special third one. Shared web hosting starts at $3 as well, and you get one website and 10 gigabytes of SSD storage for the basic plan. For $14, you receive five sites, 100 gigabytes of SSD storage, and an optimized site for high traffic. And all these plans also have a free domain, which is helpful, particularly for beginners. Moreover, the VPS hosting plans pack a good punch as they use physical CPUs instead of vCPUs, which are more powerful, as well as up to 240 gigabytes of SSD storage and unmetered bandwidth, which makes them flexible in case your site receives a larger spike of traffic, allowing you to avoid performance issues. These features are also reflected in the price as it starts at $30 and goes up to $70. But for those of you who have medium sized sites, this will help you in case you need to take that extra step. And lastly, the juggernaut of all the plans is dedicated hosting. So, 
I mentioned before how VPS hosting provides you a separate section on a shared server with more dedicated resources and well a dedicated server is the Romeo to your Juliet because it's as dedicated as ever. Here you have a server all to yourself and no shortage of resources. The Intel Xeon Dash D CPU is one of the most efficient on the market and will give you the efficiency you need to run a massive site and combined with an unmetered bandwidth you won't need anything else. This is only for people who have large sites and need the resources that come with doing so. Again quality ain't cheap so if you're considering any of Bluehost's plans then you can also find a link for a site wide discount in the description below if you find their offers more tailored to your needs. Now I mentioned WordPress earlier and how Bluehost better integrates it and it's even been recommended by WordPress themselves. In fact, they're actually a match made in heaven. Their words, not mine. They offer unique plugins, provide the fastest and most stable connection, and Bluehost has generally optimized all third-party apps for their site, which makes it the best place to use WordPress. And to do so, you'll need to log into Bluehost, then from your dashboard, head down to the Websites tab, where on the right side of the page, you click on Add Site. And the first option is Install WordPress, which is what we want. From here, we can choose a site title, but we have the option of doing this later on as well, so we'll skip it for now. On the next page, you'll just use the temporary domain that comes with your plan, and then click on continue, and it will take a couple of seconds to generate your site. Once it's done that, go ahead and click on edit page, from where you'll be taken to a new page and asked a few questions related to your experience with website building. You identify what your site is about, and from there you customize some site info, pick and choose your themes, templates, layouts, and also your site title, and then once that's over, you go ahead and begin the site making process. And after a minute or so, your site is made. From there, you can tweak it even further. I have a tutorial on how to make a site with WordPress already, so if you want a full guide, then check out the link to that in the description below. Now, when comparing Hostinger and Bluehost, Hostinger stands out as the more cost-effective and feature-rich provider. With shared web hosting, for example, Hostinger offers more generous plans at a lower price, providing a lot more resources. Even in the VPS hosting category, Hostinger offers competitive plans, but users should be aware of potential extra fees related to bandwidth restrictions. For long-term plans, both providers offer discounts, with Hostinger allowing more flexibility in payment terms from monthly to every two to four years. While Bluehost boasts a stronger CPU for VPS hosting, Hostinger has demonstrated better uptime over the past six months, hitting 100% five times, and Bluehost hasn't done that at all. Then moving to cloud hosting, Hostinger does really well with its scalable, reliable, and feature-rich cloud hosting that includes NVMe storage, offering 10 times faster performance than Bluehost SSD storage, and it doesn't offer NVMe storage at all in any of its plans. When it comes to dedicated hosting, it's not directly comparable between the two as Hostinger doesn't offer a comparable plan. In terms of customer service, Bluehost provides a comprehensive range of support options, including 24-7 chat, phone support, and specialized email assistance. Hostinger, while lacking phone support, compensates with efficient 24-7 chat support. Ultimately, from my perspective, Hostinger is the preferred choice due to its feature-rich plans, cost-effectiveness, and efficient customer support. While Bluehost may excel in VPS hosting, Hostinger's optimization allows users to start working on their site sooner, making it an ideal choice, especially for beginners, not to mention that uptime. Most people won't need the highly advanced features of Bluehost's more expensive tiers anyways, such as dedicated hosting. Meanwhile, Hostinger offers plenty to work with even with their cheaper plans, so it's definitely more bang for your buck and you're paying less. If you guys want a more in-depth comparison between Hostinger and Bluehost, then you can check out my video about that in the description where I make sure to give you some extra details. And with that, we wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button and subscribing to help us keep the lights on over here. If you have any questions for me, then don't hesitate to ask them down below. Also, don't forget those offers I placed in the description if you do choose to go with either of these providers. At any rate, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, take care.